I have to confess that uh, the next topic is quite ridiculous. <laughs> uh, we're going to have Oliver Miller from the Faster Times on uh, to talk about it. And we're going to show you a video of it, too. First, Oliver, welcome to the Young Turks. Yeah, how's it going, man? <laughs> uh, I can barely hear you, but this is awesome. All right, rock and roll. Great to have you. Um, so, uh, t t tell me what this vajazzling is. What is that? Well, vajazzling, uh, obviously, <laughs> except the word sounds insane, but uh, vajazzling is a combination of the word uh, vag, standing for vagina, and then uh, the word bedazzling, as we all remember from the bedazzler. For the mid '80s, and so but uh, I'm sorry, it was a process wherein you rip all the hair off your vagina and have a Brazilian bikini wax, and then uh, <laughs> put glue tiny crystals to your uh, vagina, basically. All right, it, that sounds insane. Uh, and you know who'd be against it? Monique. No interest. Uh, but it, it seems so unbelievable uh, that. I had to watch the video that was attached to your story. So I want to show that yeah. to everybody because it, it really is real. And people are doing yeah. this. So let's, let's show them the video and then we'll come back and talk about it. Okay. Hey, I'm Bryce Gruber from TheLuxurySpot.com here at Completely Bare Spa in New York City. And the lovely people at Spa Week sent me here to try the bejazzling treatment. We're about to hear what all the rage is and what bejazzling is. So come on, let's check it out. I like the name. What we're doing is we're putting uh, jewels on the upper area of the vagina. The vagina. Yeah, it's bedazzling for your vagina. Yeah. Hence the word the jazzle. We only use uh, Swarovski crystals. It's very popular for uh, women getting married, anniversaries. We just had Valentine's Day. That was really popular. I heard that Jennifer Love Hewitt started the whole trend. I know you guys have been doing this for a few years, but Jennifer Love Hewitt bringing it back has made it huge. Are you currently the jazzle? I am currently the jazzle. Yes. I think it's been like maybe a month and a half or so, and we we get a few calls a day. You hear that, Jennifer Love Hewitt? If you are bejazzling, I want to bejazzle too. <laughs> I think you're fantastic. Why? Why is fuel truck face? <laughs> I can't believe this girl did this on camera. Just getting bejazzled. No big whoop. Just another Tuesday. <laughs> I guess you got to give her credit for being ballsy. It's tough to get a job in local news after this story. <laughs> so I'm done. I just got the bejazzling treatment here at Completely Bare Spa, and it really wasn't bad. It didn't hurt, you don't even feel anything, and I'm pretty excited with my new crystals. Good luck. All right. I, I got a lot to yeah. say about that. Um, yeah, do you? Good. Uh, <laughs> Please. First off, George Lopez needs to police that moustache. <laughs> yes. Okay, but that's a whole different thing. All right, look, Oliver, let me ask you a couple of things here. First, is sure. this going to get expensive? As Because there's no way those things don't fall off. And then, I don't well, know. If... Isn't that a there are number? Of, there are a number of problems with, with jazz Lang. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, downgrade it in anyone's eyes. Uh, they fall off within five days, and that seems, you know, Problematic. Because <laughs> where are they going to go? Which then leads exactly. to the health issues. It's a whole problem. Uh, I've also had a number of female friends uh, talking about this, and uh, actually it's not the vagina because you wouldn't want uh, rhinestones in your vagina, <laughs> obviously, for you such think. obvious reasons. So it's actually the vulva 
So it should actually be called Volve Dazzling. But um, but that sounds funny, so that's okay. Okay, so uh, is I mean, is this trend for real? Are there like three people in the country doing it? Or yeah, that's, a, <laughs> that's an important question because <laughs> I don't. I wonder about that myself from time to time, time, time to time. Uh, it's all Jennifer Love Hewitt's fault. Um, she appeared on the Lopez Night Show and talked about her vajazzle. Um So she was the one who popularized, and I mean, she's going to have a lot to answer for at the gates of heaven and hell, obviously, uh, whichever <laughs> one she gets to, yeah, because she's Jennifer Love Hewitt. But... Um, it's hard to be. It's hard to be sure. Uh, it's you can go to the completely bare salon in New York City or Westchester, and you can also go to a place called Strippers, which is awesome, uh, <laughs> in in our nation's capital. And as far as I can tell, those are the only places that are offering offering the uh, the jazzle currently. But it's cheap. Uh, is can can men the jazzle? Uh, w- would that be uh, dazzle? <laughs> well, I would. <laughs> I was I was wondering about this myself because I know uh, <laughs> I know myself as a young hipster type of person. Uh, I, I worry because you know, based on the inevitable process of metrosexuality, uh, I feel like this will eventually be a trend for men. I mean, because that will happen, <laughs> and we eventually have you know, kazazzle, kazazzle, kazazzle. Yeah, exactly. Well put. <laughs> and so uh, we cannot do it currently. I mean, we don't have that available to us. But, you know, at, at some point in time, if girls are doing this, if girls are crazy enough to do this, then I feel like guys will also be this crazy, which means, like, you know, like in, like, 2015 or so, I'll have, like, all my pubes ripped off <laughs> with with wax, and then we'll have, like, a pattern of crystals, you know, and so sort of flame pattern. So what kind of design are you going to go for? Are you going to go for the butterfly, <laughs> maybe a heart? <laughs> really? You're actually going to implicate me in this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what what design uh, turns you on the most? <laughs> turns you on. I mean, I would, I, would want, I would want flames because I think that's, cause that's cool. So you, that's manly, right? You know what I would do? I, mean, uh, I would, yeah. I would uh, kazazzle with... Uh, design of pubic hair. <laughs> it would be because I like the irony. I enjoy the irony, but I don't think that's the well, real problem. I think the real problem is when men start to put it on the actual Johnson. Oh God! Okay, you, look, you think they won't do it, but they will. Okay, and, and, then, it, and it will end up in the vagina. And some guys, well, or other places, and other guys, if you know what I mean. Oh God! Okay, no, because okay, because some guy is going to want to bling out his cock. Okay, <laughs> and he's going to, and some dude's going to be stupid enough to put diamonds on it. 